Long time ago, an old king and his daughter, Jelida, lived in a big palace one day. I'm getting old. She must rule the kingdom after I pass away. Servant, servant. Yes, Your Majesty. Call Jelida. Yes, okay, Your Majesty. The king wants to talk to you. Okay. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Yes, father. Jelida, listen to me about it. In three days' time, I want you to marry and be the queen of the land. But father, I'm still young, and I told you, I don't want to marry that old nobleman. He's not even... Jelida, end of discussion. I've already made my mind. Jelida didn't want to get married to that man and become a queen. She thought deeply until she finally found a fabulous idea. Without anybody noticing, she went to the king's tailor. Hello, tailor. How are you? Oh, oh, your highness. It's so nice to see you. I'm well. A bit older, but I'm doing fine. What does the little princess need? Make me a coat of animal skins. But please, keep this between us. I don't want anybody to know. Don't worry, dear. Taylor, I need the coat as soon as possible. All right, come tomorrow after the sunset. Okay. Gelada was very nervous and waited for the coat to be ready so she can start her plan. The next day... Hi, Taylor. Is my coat ready? Yes. Please, try it on. When Gelada put on the coat, she was not beautiful. She was ugly. That's perfect. Thank you, Taylor. Goodbye. You will come. Goodbye. Jelada ran away from her father. She walked for five days and then arrived to a land far away. She went to the queen's palace. Hold a second, Your Majesty. Yes? Hello. Can I work here? Who are you? I'm lost and homeless. Please, wait here. I will be right back. Your Majesty, there is the girl at the door and she's looking for a job. Call her. Hello, Your Majesty. Hello. What is your name? My name is Jelida. Jelida. You can be a server in the kitchen. No one knew that Jelida was the daughter of the king. One day, there was a party in the king's palace. The queen and all of the servants went to the party. Jelada took off her animal skin coat. She also went to the party. What a beautiful girl. She can marry my son. Listen to me, son. You should think of your future. What do you mean, mother? Did you see that girl? Go and dance with her. You think so? Shall we dance? Yes. After the party, Jelada went back to the kitchen in her animal skin coat. There was a second party and again, Jelada took off, took off her animal skin coat and went to the party. And again, the prince danced with her. <music> together but when the party was over Jelada ran back to the kitchen but the prince took her hand wait where are you going why do you always disappear like that Jelada managed to disappear quickly 
The prince ring fell into Jilada's hand. She ran back to the kitchen. The prince didn't run after her. Right after the party was over, the queen said to the servants, Servants! Servants! Yes, yes, your majesty. Make six cakes for the prince to eat. He is going on a hunting trip, and the cakes will give him some energy. As, As you wish, wish, your majesty. Jalada heard about the prince's trip. I have an idea. I will bake a special cake for the prince, and I will put the ring in the cake. When it was the time for him to leave, the servant came and gave him the cake that they prepared in a big basket. The princess saw Jalada. She is ugly. The prince was very angry with the servant. He was sorry for the ugly girl in the animal skin coat. Give me your cake. Here it is, your highest. Bon appétit. Thank you. Hey, wait, do I know you? Who, me? No, no, your highness. It must be someone else. Oh, well, thank you for the cake. Look. And the two went off to their hunting trip in the forest. The prince got tired and hungry. The cake smelled tasty. Would you like to take a bigger highest? Yes, that sounds good. Here we go. Hmm, I feel like trying this one. The prince ate until he suddenly he found a shiny blue ring. It is my ring. I lost it yesterday at the party. What shall we do? I can't wait to find out what's going on. Let's go with him. The prince was so confused. The prince returned quickly back to the palace. What happened, dear? Why did you return so early? He told his mother what happened. I don't know what's going on. Look, it's burning by war at the party. She's only a servant. Maybe she stole the ring. No. I think there's a mysterious story this girl is hiding. You like that? You like that? Oh. Yes, your highness. How can I help you? You were the pretty girl at the party, right? I was not mistaken this morning. Will you marry me? Jalada was shocked and shy. She told him the whole story. Listen to me, Prince. First, you should know my story. It's long and complicated, but the truth must be said. I'm a princess from a faraway land. I ran away from my father, the king, because he wanted me to marry an old and wealthy nobleman. Ugh, I knew that. I knew you've got royal blood. Now, I think you should see my father first. And honestly, I miss him. Of course. The prince went to her father, the king, to ask him if he could marry his daughter. The king was astonished. Hello, your majesty. I'm Francis, the prince of Versailles. I came to ask if I could marry your dear princess Julida. Oh, father. Oh goodness, I thought she was lost. Forgive me. Of course I forgive you. Yes, yes, congratulations, son. Let's start with our wedding preparations. First, we'll see the table. As you wish, dear. Oh, Julida, I can't believe my eyes. Hi, Taylor. Please, meet my fiancé, the Prince of Versailles. That's great news. Welcome, your highness. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How can I help you? I want a beautiful white dress with a fancy tuxedo for the groom-to-be. Everybody in the kingdom came to the wedding party. The prince and Jolada were married and were, were very happy. What's my name? Don't you eat cake? Oh my god. I will put the I will bake mil awal. Go. I have an idea. I will put la la la. Tala halik uli wow. Wa khira nashkur Allah.